Hello YouTube, Healthy Family Variety Channel here with a fossil review quickie. All right, well I'm in the midst of packing and one of the things that uh, that I'm packing up and coming across is my fossil collection. Uh, most of these here are going to be from fossils that I found about 15 years ago. Um, and uh, what you're looking at, most of these are going to be either ammonite or baculite, baculitis or baculite, or I also have some snail shell gastropods, things like that. That right there is a section of a nautilus or a nautiloid. It would uh, form a whole coil of these getting bigger as they come out. It kind of looks like a fossilized um, cashew is what it looks like a little bit. Uh, what I'm mostly going to highlight and look at are the uh, baculites. And then I also show you these that I found this year with my boys uh, fossil hunting. Alright, so in case you don't know, a bacolite or a bacolite is a uh, fossil that is a relative to or a cousin to or you know like a male female gender difference of the ammonites because they have the same suture lines. Now this one is broken a little bit. You can't see the fine texture. I'll show you in just a second. Um, well, if you look right there, if I can get it to focus, you can kind of see where there was the fine points coming out, but it's kind of broken off. Most of the fine points have broken off. Here on the bacolites is where you can see them. These are called suture lines, and they form discs or chambers, and as the creature grows, it will seal off one chamber and then continue to grow into the next one, and then at a certain point, it seals off that next chamber. And then when they fossilize, they fo form discs like this. You know, sometimes, depending on the fossilization, the disc will be mostly fused together or completely. Like on this one that I found this year, you don't see any suture lines in it whatsoever. The only way that I know that this is a bacolite is it has the ridges. I can feel them. They don't even show up that well. If you can look along the edge, you can kind of see a high point, low point, high point, low point. I mean, this is almost, I don't know what you'd call it, if it's a little bit like chert or flint. It's hard the fossilization has just left the impression, the shape, but not much else. Oh, there you go. You can see the ridges real well right there. So here is a bacolites that you can see the suture lines on. Um, that's the one you can see the best. You can see a little bit right there. It also has this other fossilization or mineralization on there. That piece is actually loose, but here along this side you can see the ridges, both sides. Okay. Another smaller piece. Here's another type of ammonite, one that grows in a non-specific shape. It just kind of coils. But that is a type of ammonite and there it is again right there just that part right there this was busted out of a geode not very well preserved I mean it's preserved right there but the whole thing is not very well preserved the internal mold of that huge clam or bivalve a chunk of ammonite a neat piece, also ammonite-ish, but um, you know, just one little section. And then 
these are the ones that you really enjoy finding, like that one right there where you can see the suture in this black stone, when it gets fossilized in this black stone, and you can see the suture lines so well. They're ones at least that my boys and I very much enjoy finding. There's a little bit of a brown stone that it's preserved in. This is a uh, reddish clay type stone that's preserved in. This one is nice. You can see the suture lines very well. So, uh, that's just a one little glimpse at uh, part of my fossil collection. If you've noticed this one over here, I got that, uh, I think I was, well, 20 years old or younger. And I don't even remember now if I bought it at a uh, rock shop or if it was given to me. I think it was given to me, but I don't remember by who or exactly when. But it's a fossilized uh, type of sand dollar. So, all right, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Just something short to uh, bring you along. Y'all take care. Hope you're enjoying the holidays and preparing for a really nice Christmas. Take care.